In this lesson, we'll look at ways to edit or massage an existing selection so it makes a better or a more efficient mask. A little known fact is that you can transform a selection with the same operators, like scale or distort or rotate, just as you're able to transform the pixels in an image. Let's take a look at this feature. Let's say you wanted to darken the edges around the kids at an angle to match their position. Here's what you do. First choose Transform Selection from the Select menu. Now with the Transform bounding box in place, you can go ahead and perform all the transformation operations that you would have normally done, like Rotate. You could scale it and distort it. Then hit Enter to apply the transformation. The next thing I'd like to do is to feather the selection to create a smoother edge. This allows the darkening that we apply in the background to appear more seamless. Now, Normally you might have reached into the Select menu to choose Feather, but I like to perform this operation by using the Quick Mask mode. But first, I'll invert the selection to select the background. Then type Q on the keyboard to get into the quick mask mode. This shows me the area that will be masked out when I apply the darkening around the image. Now instead of using the trusty feather command, I'll apply the Gaussian blur filter to this mask overlay. Click the edge that you wish to preview and set the radius in pixels. Lower values will give you a tighter edge, while higher values give you a smoother edge, the same effect that you were able to achieve using the feather command. Now I'll convert this to a standard selection by typing Q again and proceed to add an adjustment layer. Here's a quick before and after, and the last thing that I would do is to reduce the opacity a little bit, or even adjust the layer mask to keep certain areas from getting overly affected. That's one way to create a very subtly shaded effect. And while we're on the subject of quick mask to preview selections, it also comes in handy when previewing a crop especially on a single layer document such as this. I like to use this technique to crop images sometimes because it's more intuitive to me. Once a rectangular marquee is in place, view it in the quick mask mode. This gives you a preview of the crop and you can adjust the size and position of the cropping rectangle. Hold down the command or the control key to access the move tool to simply drag the mask around. Edit the rectangle by selecting an area and either filling with white or black to change the shape of the crop. Then convert back to a selection and finally choose the crop command from the image menu to crop the image to that selection.